have rotary vacuum vane pump. So what we are going to do is we are going to use a, a rotor scatter system to drag out air. So what is done is, if you look into that table, I have just written a part of this table. We have a vacuum pump and under this we have got gas transfer. Okay. Okay. And what was the other type of vacuum pump? Entrapment. Okay. The other type of vacuum pump is entrapment. In the gas transfer, if it is a positive displacement, we are basically having the rotary pump under this. Okay. So we have got the rotary pump. Now this rotary pump is widely used and this is used as a primary pump for backing or roughing stages. So what do you mean roughing means you are going to get an approximate or a rough value of the vacuum. So it is not going to be a very high vacuum. There is a certain limit to it after which you can get the vacuum. That means everything cannot be dragged out. A part of it is dragged out. Okay? So if you look into the diagram, it basically consists of two parts, the stator and the rotor. It basically comes from the word stator which is stationary. Okay? So this stator is stationary here. And what is this rotor? This is the rotor which is rotating. And if you look into the rotor, this and this are basically the two spring systems which are connected to it. So when it keeps on rotating, as soon as it comes here, suppose it's rotating, and this point comes here, and then there is some air, and we already know there is some air inside. And as soon as it keeps on rotating, this uh, parts or this edges of this spring will keep on rubbing the surface. So whatever air is there, it is getting dragged out. It is the inlet and this is getting dragged out and it's going to the outlet. So what is happening here is this inlet is basically connected to the system where you want to have the vacuum. Get it? Suppose there is an oven and you want to get total vacuum inside. So this inlet is connected to that oven. My aim is to drag out all the air from the oven and throw it outside. Outside means into the outer environment. I don't want to keep that air, I can keep it in the outer environment, send it out. So what I will do is I will connect it and basically when this keeps on rotating, this is spring loaded, this will rub and whatever air is generated that is being pushed by these two spring systems. That is being pushed by the spring system. So it keeps on rotating and the air keeps on coming out. So that's why when a diffusion pump or a rotary pump starts moving, the motor moves and you will always keep on getting that sound, okay, a humming or, a, or the sound of the motor. So it will always be there, okay, I will show, show it to you in the lab. Okay? So what happens is rotor will turn inside the cylindrical stator and that's why this rotor stator is a fixed system where the stator remains constant and the rotor keeps on moving. This is spring loaded sliding wheels are mounted on the slots of the rotor. So these are the spring loaded sliding wheels. These are the spring loaded sliding wheels. One more term that we should know is something which we call as the valve. Okay, do you know what is a valve usually? What do we basically mean by valve? Okay. The instrument that is used to control the flow. Okay, that is one way to say it. Okay, what is a diode basically? What is the main property of a diode? It allows one direction. One direction. One direction. One direction. So basically, if you consider an electrical device, it's a diode. It allows current to flow only in one direction. It cannot flow in the reverse direction. It's the same thing. Right. So valve is the same thing. It's going to allow the flow of air only in one direction not in the reverse direction. So that means the valve is a very important mechanical device. Now if you look into a diode, can you tell me an application? Let's say for example a solar panel. When a solar panel is basically connected to a battery, there are chances that there are there is a reverse flow of current. So the current from the battery may flow back to the solar panel. So always a diode is connected. So that the current always flows from the panel to the battery. Yeah, in our body also we have like arteries are there, right? Veins and all which we have basically this kind of blood flow, pumping in heart, everything there is a valve. So basically the concept is the same, those are natural valves, these are man-made valves. So what happens is the air can go in, but it cannot come out in the opposite direction. Right? So that is how the valves are made. Then this rotor driven by constant speed. So this rotor will keep on moving in constant speed. Now there is a problem. If this rotor keeps on moving and this spring loaded system keeps on moving, it will continuously rub the body of the surface. As a result of which, there will be some kind of heat generated. So, the spring action lets rotor sliding wings in continuous contact with the stator was generating heat because of heating action. Right? And any mechanical device, what is the reason that a mechanical device cannot exist for a long time? Friction. Right? As we have learned in our lower classes, Friction is our biggest friend, but also our biggest enemy, right? Because all kinds of friction is going to re reduce the efficiency. 
Okay, even in cars and all the mileage and all that we are talking about, everything depends on friction. More the friction, less the mileage and so on. Okay, that's why lubrication is very important. But here it's not, it cannot be avoided. So we have a particular lifetime for this kind of system. So this heat is dissipated by circulating coolant around the stator. So that's why this also has a coolant around it. Okay. So in, in basically a normal uh, rotary vent pump, we have got some kind of oil and all which we are using. Okay. So it doesn't heat generate that much of heat because this is not rotating at a very high speed. As a result of which we call it as the roughing pump. Okay. So this pump is not something which you can use for generating high end values. So what we can do is initially we can have some rough value and then we connect it to another pump so that more air can be left out of it and get higher pumping values. Okay. So the logic is very simple. Okay, so uh, what is happening is this is the working. So if I give you the marks for this, I will maximum 5 marks. Okay. For the diagram might be 2 marks, including whatever is written in short. Or is working till you probably 3 marks. Okay, because this is important. So what happens is air is drawn into the pump through an inlet and is compressed. I already told you, air is drawn through this and it is compressed. How it is compressed? Because when this rotates, whatever air is here, it will get compressed. Because between these two spaces, some air is there, which is getting compressed. Now there is a problem. Whenever there is compression, there is a process of condensation happening. Because you know there is a change of pressure. So if there is high pressure, condensation chances are more. So within this rotor, whatever air is there, it gets under a very high pressure condition. So there might be condensation, which I don't want. I don't want anything there. It should just come out. So for that reason, I am going to use, insert another gas through the gas ballast. So that the pressure at which it gets content gets nullified because of that another gas. Okay. So that is what is done. So valve operates at preset pressure to avoid the bad flow of gas that is already there. For perfect sealing, now we need to have a perfect sealing here. That means it should rub, but there should be some sealing. So for sealing in general, what we do in pressure cookers, we are using a rubber, rubber right? So these kind of ideas are used here, but we cannot use a rubber here, so we are using a sealing, a thin film. Okay? So for perfect sealing, thin film, fluid film between the moving contact is used. Okay? Very simple. Now what is this application of this gas ballast? So your objective question might be, what is the use of gas ballast in a uh, rotary pump? Okay? Two marks. So for insertion of non-condensable gas, so what happens is, there will be gases which does not condense at this much pressure. So that gas is inserted through the gas pedals. Now you will ask me what kind of gas? It will depend on what is the gas which is entering through this. Suppose you want to take out air. Okay, so some gas will be used. If you want to take out some other gas from inland, then some other gas will be used and so on. So pressure sign. In case some gas condensed during the rotor motion like water vapor, if water vapor gets condensed, okay, it is basically going to form a solid structure. Right? It becomes difficult to then remove it. So the gas through the gas pedals lowers the pressure to avoid condensation. So this pressure will be lowered because of the gas through the gas balance. Okay. Because of which the condensation might be avoided. Okay. This is a very simple system. We have to use a complicated system from a time so you have animation data. Decreases the partial pressure of the condensable gas. What was this? If we mix, mix two gases, the partial pressure gets reduced. It was studied in chemistry in class in so what happens is when we are talking about uh, high pressure and low pressure. Now imagine you have a vacuum and you are uh, putting something which is at low pressure. If the pressure is low, what happens to the boiling temperature? Boiling boiling the boil boil start right? So what happens is if the pressure is low, the boiling temperature is lowered. If the pressure is high, the boiling temperature also gets high. Okay. So that means what happens is the state of matter, whether it is gas, solid, liquid, is affected by the pressure directly. Okay. Now you imagine water vapor condensation. So what does it mean? It condenses. It basically solidifies. So condensation So that condensation we are talking about here. And that condensation will also depend on pressure because of the same logic. So water vapor का अंदर जो gas है वो निकल जाता है और जो water vapor का gas में निकलता है क्या होता है ना? If there is some inlet there and air is coming, in that air there will be some amount of water content. The air that we have around here, everywhere there is humidity, right? Yes. 
what do you mean by humidity? There is some kind of water content there. That water content is suppose that state water vapor. It's not that only water vapor might get condensed. It will depend on what kind of elements are present in the air which is being dragged out. Okay? So mostly it will be water vapor because if you consider normal air, there is humidity, that means there is water. And that water exactly gets condensed. So that is the water vapor we are talking about here. Okay? Now I want to lower it, I want to change the pressure. That means high pressure is here, come on. So all those additional gas down the house, the pressure change is right. Based on this, we will be actually having a wording on the condensation of the gases. Now what low is this? Anyone remembers? Delton's law of partial pressure. This is Delton's law of partial pressure. Delton's law of partial pressure has nothing to do with water vapor, it's a general law. Delton's law of partial pressure. What does this law say? That in a mixture of non-reacting gases, so it's very important that the gas that comes from here and the air that we have, they should be non-reacting. They should not react with each other. The total pressure exerted is equal to the sum of the partial gas pressure of individual gases. Okay. So if एक का pressure कम है, एक का pressure ज़्यादा है, जिसका ज़्यादा है, उसको मेरे को घटाना है, तो कम वाले के साथ मिला देंगे, तो उसके average out हो जाएगा. And as a result, you are going to get a average partial pressure which will be higher or lower compared to the pressure which is there because of which there is condensation. So we are actually minimizing the pressure, balancing it up. Okay. And because of these reasons also you cannot get a very high vacuum in case of rotary pumps. Okay. But please remember we are going to look into more pumps and as we look into more and more pumps the concept is going to get more and more clear. Okay. So this will stop here. Tomorrow we are going to see two more pumps.